A Michigan judge has dismissed a lawsuit from Republican candidate for Secretary of State Christina Coelmo, which aimed to put extra scrutiny on votes in Detroit. That decision came down yesterday. Coelmo is facing off against incumbent Jocelyn Benson. In announcing the lawsuit, Coelmo said this election is about, or this is about election integrity in Michigan. So many people, especially in the city of Detroit, feel so disenfranchised that they do not even show up to the polls. They feel like, what's the point? The system is rigged, and I'm not even the one who's selecting who's in office. So why bother to vote? This is why this issue is so critical. Let's bring in Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, who joins us from Detroit. We will also note we made multiple requests to reach for Karamo for an interview, and we did not get a response. So Ms. Benson, you're both running to be Secretary of State, no, by the way, helping to administer an election in Michigan. Let's start off with a political question. What are your reactions to the claims newly made by Ms. Karamo? Well, look, that lawsuit was dismissed by the judge yesterday in a really visceral opinion that underscores how egregious it is for anyone seeking public office or anyone at all to flagrantly try to throw out the ballots of Detroiters. And that's what this lawsuit was about. In Michigan, citizens have a right to vote absentee. And in this lawsuit, they sought to throw out the valid votes of Detroit citizens who exercised that right, that option that they have under the law. So it was egregious. The, the judge clearly agreed and said as such. And I'm now you know, confident to again reassure voters that no matter how they vote or where they vote, their vote will count in Michigan. Let me ask you this about voting places, polling places, and where the vote is counted. We saw after 2020 the menacing that occurred near where civil servants and volunteers were trying to do their jobs and administer these elections. Is there any concern from the county clerks, from the Secretary of State staff, from those local volunteers? They may be menaced either today or when the vote counting and certifying begins. Yeah, we're aware that what we endured in 2020 may reemerge. We, in many ways, have seen those forces escalate over the years since that election. And, but the other piece of it is we're prepared. Uh, we are more prepared than we were in 2020 to minimize the impact of any potential efforts to undermine the counting of every valid vote in our state. And what we have seen today really is as a reaction to that, poll workers, election workers, and voters themselves really determined to participate, to make sure their votes count, and to minimize any potential disruption or occurrence that could in interfere with that process. How do you assure voters that the system does work when there are public figures who claim otherwise? I mean, I, I continue to think it's really irresponsible for anyone, be they a public office holder or someone seeking or aspiring to that authority, to falsely cast aspersions on the sanctity and integrity of our elections. We had hundreds of audits after the 2020 election, all of which affirmed the results of that election. We continue to combat misinformation, not just in Michigan, but around the country, all designed to sow seeds of doubt in voters' minds as to whether their vote counts. But in reality, if you look at the facts, and, and we encourage everyone to do so, and many have, uh, including State Senator Republican Ed McBroom, who did his own investigation and found that indeed our elections are safe, secure, and the results are an accurate reflection of the will of the people. So we've set up a website at michigan.gov slash vote where we answer people's questions about the process. We invite the scrutiny because we know and have faith in the secure protocols that we've got in place. Transparency is key at combating a lot of these lies the public officials are making, and hopefully they will cease to do so in the future because it really is antithetical to who we are as Americans. Let me have you shift back again from Secretary of State to Secretary of State candidate as you run for re-election. You're on the same ticket as Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Attorney General. It's a Democrat as well. Polls have shown the race for governor tightening ahead of today. And we know how close Michigan was in 2020. How confident is the ticket? How confident are you? Democrats are going to prevail. I am, have been really overwhelmed by the extraordinary enthusiasm and energy we have seen, particularly from young voters and women voters across the state. In the last few days leading up to today, we crisscrossed the state together as a team and saw thousands of voters and citizens show up in numbers that were quite frankly larger than what we saw even in 2018 to enthusiastically join us in this effort to really defeat these lies and conspiracy theories and candidates who still can't tell the truth about who won the 
the 2020 election and ensure that those of us who have experience and have delivered real results for the citizens, that we have an opportunity to continue doing that here in Michigan. So I'm feeling encouraged by that enthusiasm and uh, also really just grateful for the number of voters on both sides of the aisle who are continuing to participate and believe in their voice and their vote in this moment where democracy is facing so many challenges. We just want every citizen to know, know where the, no matter where they live or who they vote for, what party they affiliate with, that I'm working to make sure their vote's going to count and their voice is going to be heard and all of us at the top of the ticket have that commitment. All right, Jocelyn Benson, thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the time. My pleasure. Thanks. Happy Election Day.